there's no way to cheat on your logs nowadays with keep trucking. Or is there? doing first I'm uh, synchronizing my keep trucking on my phone with the ELD notice one light now is red and one is green and now I'm synchronizing and so both lights will be green that means my phone is talking to the engine now so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little fake pre-trip and drive a little bit so we register that on the driving line then I am actually going to unplug the ELD and we're going to see how that looks if you want to be someone that does that kind of thing this is how you do it you can be a cheater and so we're going to show how to be a cheater right here on life after trucking when I said I was doing a fake pre-trip I meant a fake pre-trip on the logs. You always do a pre-trip when you drive a truck. You notice that dry rot on those airbags? I'm gonna get those replaced before we send this truck out. All right, let's drive a little bit and register some driving time on the truck. And then we'll look at it on the logs, make sure it's registering. You'll understand what I'm talking about as this demonstration progresses. Man, this truck is really nice. Brand new uh, carpet in the back. They really fixed it up nice for the next driver. I would drive this truck. This is every bit as nice as old red. watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. Stay tuned. Okay, we have stopped here at Food Lion and I'm entering in on my phone uh, that we're here at Food Lion and I'm going to go off duty. So I'm putting the logs off duty, and then we're going to secretly, don't tell anyone, but we're going to unplug the ELD, and then we're going to see how that looks to the safety officer back at the office and see if he'll find out. He's kind of slow, so I doubt he'll notice, so we'll be able to get away with driving without being detected. Let's do that now. And notice they're still both on green lights. That means the phone, the logs are still connected. Now we're going to disconnect the cable. We are unplugging this. I'm going to take this ELD and put it on the floor. And I'll leave this dangling. All right, let's go. And we're going to go actually do a little thing here. We're going to go pick up one of our trailers that's uh, being repaired. It's already been repaired. We're going to bring it back to the office. So let's go and get that trailer, which is just about five miles from here. Okay, we're now driving with the uh, cable unplugged. And the software on the uh, safety side, it's called Unidentified Driving. So, 
when we get back to the office, that's what we'll be looking for, unidentified driving, and we'll see if we can find it on the, uh, in the software. All right, I have found our trailer. Let's go in here and pay for it. Wow, they need, uh, they need to have this paved. It's a mighty bumpy. There she blows. After we pay, we'll come get it hooked up. Still off logs. Still unplugged, so we're still cheating the system. All right, well, this is not right. Uh, this repair job is not, not good enough for me. So I'm going to go back in and talk to the owner. This is not good. All the glue's coming off. I don't think, I don't, I'm not going to accept this. All right, well, they're going to fix the rest of it. And uh, so I'm going to have to come back. So this was a wasted trip. Uh, as far as the trailer goes, we, we really wanted to have our trailer back. So uh, we'll have to make another trip up here to get that. So for now, let's go back and see what's up with the unplugging of the lugs. here at this pilot and we're gonna get a quick coke run in and get something and run out and hurry up and get back to the office I can't wait to see what the logs are gonna show so uh, let's go in there and get a coke okay we're back here at food lion parking lot same place now we're going to uh, plug in the uh, log books the ELD and all that stuff and pretend like we didn't go anywhere. We were just here the whole time. So I'm gonna plug it in and hurry up and go off duty, which is what I was when I left this exact spot. And we'll see what it looks like. So let's plug it back in right now. And start right now. All right, looking at my logbook, we won. It, we didn't go anywhere. We were here at the food lion the whole time, Mr. Safety Officer. Honest, I didn't go anywhere. That's what my logbook says, officer. Ah, but now we're gonna drive back to the office and get a little more driving time on here. And then we'll look at it from what the uh, logging people see inside the office. So let's drive back to the office and then we'll look at that to see if, if I or the criminal really got away with it. Okay, we are back here at the office. And gonna go off duty. If I were going to be in my stay here in the truck, I'd go in my sleeper berth, but I'm going off duty. Well, I can tell I am out of shape, trucking-wise anyway. I got clutch leg, I got a backache, I'm a mess. Let's go sit in the office where it's cool. It's 100 degrees out here. Just a real quick message here. I'm never going to stop talking about DAT. That's DAT Solutions, my favorite software. If you're a truck driver, an owner-operator, if you're a business owner, a broker, 
Put your loads on DAT. Everyone looks at DAT. Everyone that is in the trucking industry, it's the oldest software that everyone's been using for years and years. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of loads on there. 30 days free if you click the link below. And now let's look at this from the perspective of someone in safety or a log auditor to see what they see, to see if the guy really got away with unplugging or not. So let's see what this says and what it shows from this end. Kind of interesting. Okay, if you look at it from the inside, here it is. You can see we did our uh, pre-trip and we drove a little bit up to the food lion and we were off duty and then we were back at the food lion uh, and then uh, driving a little bit and then back at the office that's what the log actually looks at looks like but now let's pull up the uh, what is called a disconnect report which shows me a list of trucks that disconnected uh, their ELDs. And we'll see if mine's there. And sure enough, there is the disconnect right in front of us. It shows uh, what time I was disconnected, where I was, where I reconnected. It even gives a little graphic. It shows me how many miles the driver drove. Man, he was a rat. He drove 36 miles, and it didn't even show up on his logs. But... It was, it's right here, right in front of us, right here. The evidence of someone who disconnected their ELD. So that's what we see from the inside. It really, it's not, not a wise idea for you to do that. If you're going to, if it's going to be seen by the people inside anyway, it would be kind of like, uh, robbing a bank and then knowing that the police are watching you rob the bank and they're going to find out who you are and where you live and everything. It's just not worth it to do things like that. Even though it looks like you can cheat the system, you really can't because electronics um, kind of monitor the situation. So it's not a good idea to unplug your ELD. Well, if you decide that you want to cheat on your logs, then you will have to risk uh, being found out by the people that audit them by just a flick of a button. So it's not recommended that you do that. I certainly don't recommend that you cheat on your logs. The days of three log books are gone. Things are different now. Unfortunately, we all just have to uh, follow what the government has lined up for us. Um, I, I hate saying that. It, it sounds like uh, we're letting the government just walk all over us these days, but the safety advocates and the other people that want to regulate us are doing this. So, unfortunately, that's the way it is. But look at that. Look at it positively somehow. I'm Indiana Jack. Thanks for watching. We will see you next week on another adventure with life after trucking. Thanks for watching.